a quick GIMP video, GIMP or Photoshop, this would work for both. Uh, this has been requested. Um, I did this super quickly in a, um, in a video recently and somebody said, whoa, slow down there. Can, I, uh, can you do that slower because it's useful? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this photo, which has a very, it's not a, it's not a, f um, there are still variations in this background. So if we wanted to turn this into a bigger image, it's kind of hard to build that background, build something on there that works. But here's a super simple thing you can do as long as the background is pretty uniform with just gradients and slight changes, not patterns or marks or anything. And this definitely works best. Uh, if I was doing, th if I was going this way, extending this way, I would fix that, in th I would fix that first um, because I'm gonna st I would stretch it. So I'm going to do this two times. I'm going to do it really slowly just using the mouse and then I'm going to do it again using keyboard shortcuts. So let's say we wanted this to be a big, bigger square. Let's, like it's, uh, let's say 7,000 by 7,000 pixels. So we've made the canvas bigger then we'll make the layer the same size as the image and GIMP auto fills it with the background color. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the rectangle tool and we're going to uh, select everything that is just pure background here. And we're going to copy it. We're going to paste it. And that creates a new floating layer on top of the other one. So we're going to turn that into a new layer. And we're going to use the scale tool to take that layer and scale it. And then let's merge that down to the original layer. And you'll see there is no line or anything. It's just a nice gradient. That gray fade has been stretched to a slightly longer gray phase of fade. So as long as you're not trying to stretch things a ridiculous amount that makes it pixelated, it works really well. So even this, we're going to scale it to like four times its original. Copy it, paste it, make that a new layer, scale it. There you go. Merge that down. And there's our image. Uh, and there's really no visible degradation there, even though it's been scaled quite a bit. Um, so that took a few minutes, but let's do it again with keyboard shortcuts. Take the same image. Make the canvas size 7,000 by 7,000. Make the layer the same size as the image. Now, one thing I've done because it just makes sense to me, if you go to preferences, um, no, if you go to keyboard shortcuts and look for merge down, you will find that this is unassigned. For me, uh, the, this is Linux, so it might be different on Mac. It might be the uh, Apple key or it might be a super key in Windows. I don't know. But in um, in Linux, shift control N, Nancy, is the keyboard shortcut for new layer. So shift control M makes sense for merge layer for me. So that's I created that shortcut. So let's do it. So R for rectangle. Control C, Control V, Shift Control N for new layer, Shift T for scale, and enter. And that's pretty fast. Shift Control N to merge down. And I'll do it without even talking because I'll be faster.
I messed up a little bit there because I don't think I grabbed the handle correctly, which meant that it slid left and right a little bit. Shift control M for merge. Let it catch up with everything I'm trying to tell it to do. And there you go. So um, super useful for studio. Uh, studio images where you just want to create a little bit more space really useful in a smaller studio we could even like create some space at the bottom there even with that sliver so there's a whole lot you can do but that's the video that's uh that's a useful trick for for gimp or photoshop just to add a little bit of space around your subject in a way that's super easy as long as your background is fairly simple oh Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.